everybody, welcome to day 120 of Reese's Stories. And today I'm recording it by myself. And today I'm going to be reading you another story in this Animal Stories for Under 5. But even if you're over age 5, please still listen to my stories. Because I love getting the views. So thank you everybody and this story is called the singing lion the little lion loved singing but she couldn't sing in tune shall we have a sing song he asked his mom but mom couldn't face it not now dear i'm starting one of my headaches the little lion wandered off humming under his breath Shall we have a sing song? He asked the giraffe. The giraffe bent her long neck to listen, but she soon shot back up again. Not now, thank you, she whispered. I'm getting a sore throat. Help, thought the little lion. I hope I don't lose my voice. <laughs> Shall we have a sing song? He asked the zebra, it goes like this. But the zebra was already into his stride. Not now, he called. I must go for a run. All the other animals suddenly disappeared too. The little lion couldn't understand it. But then he came across an explorer and a film crew. Shall we have a sing song? roared the little lion. But the explorer and his film crew panicked. They dropped their megaphone and fled. From then on, there was pandemonium on the plane. Shall we have a sing song? bellowed the lion. It was such fun singing through the megaphone. At last, a craft. Bless me, sorry for that. It was such fun singing through the megaphone. At last, a crafty old snake decided to brave the din. She persuaded the little lion to follow her to a lonely cave. In you go, hissed the snake. Someone inside wants to meet you. The little lion stepped forward nervously. Oh, it's very dark, he whispered. That's because my friend is shy, replied the snake. He doesn't like to be seen, but she does like a sing song. The little lion rushed inside and sang at the top of his voice, and to his joy, another voice joined it. It even knew all the same songs. The little lion spent many happy hours singing in the cave with his friend. The other animals decided not to tell him that it was really an echo of his own voice. So once more, there was peace on the plain. Now, the next story that I might be reading tomorrow, or I might be reading it another day, will be called A Surprise for a Tortoise. And so, I hope you enjoyed that second story in the book because as you know i've read um brown bear's visit hippo hiccups but hippo hiccups was only one page and it was a poem so tomorrow or another day i'll be reading a surprise for tortoise so i hope you enjoyed that story in animal stories for under fives don't forget Follow me on Instagram, subscribe, and yeah, I guess I'll see you all tomorrow for day 121 of Reese's Stories. So, bye, see you all tomorrow for day 121 of Reese's Stories, bye.